welcome back to Messy Garage. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to work on my son Noah's 2020 Royal Enfield. It's the GT Continental and the paint scheme is Dr. Mayhem. Dr. Mayhem. So today what are we going to be doing on this? Uh, right now, so I have recently bought uh, these. These are engine guards. I had a little bit of an uh-oh, but that was gonna fix it hopefully. So I'm gonna put these onto the under the bike, hopefully preventing any other further accidents. All right, cool. All right, I'm gonna set the camera up and then let's get to work. So we're gonna be looking at using 14 millimeter wrenches. So I've got a 14 millimeter socket at the end of this. We're gonna be taking the bolt out right here. We're taking this bolt out um, and there's a 14 millimeter nut and this bolt goes all the way through to the other side. So we're going to be holding on with a box wrench, 14 millimeter box wrench to this nut back here, unscrewing that bolt. So that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to do that on both sides. I'll just show you one side and so we don't bore you. I got a hold of that. So when we do this, we're going to save the washers and that nut that it has dropped. Save these and the new parts came with new hardware, so the bolts are just a little bit long, longer than standard to actually hold on to the engine guards. Okay, so you can see the difference in the sizes. It's very minuscule, but the bolts are a little bit longer for the bottom. So next thing we're going to do is Take the top bolt off, and for this, uh, no, you want to hold on to this. I gotcha. Is it coming off? Yeah. Oh no, it's out of my end. Oh, is it okay? Yeah. Okay, so we've got the Royal Enfield engine guard. This is the bolt that comes with the kit. Again, it's longer than the one that we pulled out of the bike. Going to replace and reuse that washer. And we're going to thread it through the top. Put the other small bolt on that side. So let me show you what I did real quick on here. So I put go sideways action on this. Put this bolt in right here. It's held on with a 14 millimeter nut on the back. And then push this bolt all the way through. And we're gonna Tighten it up on the other side. So I'm doing now, I'm trying to get this hole on the top part of the engine guard. That's the bottom, that's the top. So that hole, we want to go on here. So no one's gonna hold that. I got it.
this new bolt, put a washer on it. It goes through here. Then we're going to take the washer and the nut. Put that on the back Let me side. Do it. do it on the back side? I think I can, yeah, I got it back here. Yeah? Yep. Alright, cool. Hold on to that. You got it. And hold on. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I'll tell you what, why don't you hold it right there for a second? Mm -hmm. Alright, the torque specs for these are gonna be 45 45 Newton meters, which is from Sir Isaac, I'm assuming. Yes, Sir Isaac of the meters. So 45 Newton meters is about 33 foot pounds. Can you hold on the wrench? Yeah, I gotcha. Where was that? Yep. Got it? Yeah, yeah, I know. Good? Should be. Alright, let's see what the final product looks like. Looks pretty cool. We're all infill branding on them. These are the larger ones. They've got compact ones, but these actually look really cool. They don't stick out too far. I'm hoping to be able to attach a long board to it. Yep. If that is possible. But That's for the now, next step, yeah. Definitely help protect against falls. Alright, cool. You gonna test drive it? Yeah, of course. Alright. He's going to take a couple spins around the block, and that's going to be about it. So like and subscribe. We're going to have content for the Indian, of course, the BMWs, and now a Royal Enfield. All right, thanks. Bye.